Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Jerry Maguire, starring Tom Cruise, Cuba Gooding Jr., Renee Zellweger, Kelly Preston, Jerry O'Connell, Jay Moher, Bonnie Hunt, Regina King, and Jonathan Lipnicki, directed by Cameron Crowe. Now, I've heard about this movie for a long time, but to be perfectly honest, I've seen part of it once, but I never watched the whole movie from start to finish. So this will be kind of like my first two viewings for this show. So let's get straight into it. Jerry Maguire, played by Tom Cruise, is a 35-year-old sports agent as he narrates his life from childhood to adulthood as he always wanted to help athletes and his important client Frank Cushman, played by Jerry O'Connell, playing football as Jerry is working behind the scenes as his life goes to downhill, starting with one of his clients, had a fourth concussion, and that player's son does a thing I hate the most, which is saying fuck you to an adult, and flips him off, which made me groan out loud. But luckily that won't happen too much for the rest of the movie. Jerry has a meltdown when he writes a mission statement about the company he works at, which is SMI, which stands for Sports Management International, and the whole company was given it the next morning, and Jerry almost r runs out of the building before he shows his face into his office and everybody claps for him. And we move on to the airplane trip somewhere where we meet Dorothy Boyd, played by Renee Zellweger, and her son Ray, played by Jonathan Litnicki, as I'll, I will come to know later on in life as the kid from Stuart Little. And Jerry comes up to Dorothy and helps her find Ray successfully, at the airport, and Ray thinks of Jerry as a father figure, until Dorothy's sister Laurel, played by Bonnie Hunt, comes while she conveniently works in his office. And I like the characters in this movie, as Tom Cruise and Renee Zoarker have quite a chemistry with each other. While their first movie meeting was awkward for sure, Jerry sleeps with his lover Avery Bishop, played by Kelly Preston, and we move on to a bachelor party scene where the audience meets Bob Sugar, played by Jay Moher as he watches a video of women saying to Jerry they love him. And the next day comes and Jerry has a meeting with Marcy Tidwell, played by Regina King, coming into his office with her son, and Sugar decides to fire Jerry on the spot like that. And I don't like Avery and Sugar, as they come off evil and annoying, but Marcy is relatable. Sugar tries to get rid of Jerry from his company, including Cushman, and Jerry wants to make his own company against Sugar and convinces his client and friend, a.k.a. Marcy's husband, Rod Tidwell, played by Cuba Gooding Jr., to stay with him as well as getting a contract to stay in Arizona in the movie's best and most iconic line, Show me the money! And the way Tom Cruise said it is even more iconic than myself, thanks to director Cameron Crowe, and I'm liking this movie thus far, and I'm only 30 minutes into it. Jerry talks about the company after he packs out of his office and takes a fish or two and decides to build his own company while he makes an ass out of himself and asks who's coming with him. Dorothy comes with Jerry to his new company, and after they leave the office, everybody else gets back to work, and they're in the elevator where a deaf guy says to his girlfriend, you complete me. And that's another iconic line Tom Cruise said we'll, we'll say much later in the film. And the performances are great. Even Cuba Gooding Jr. as this is his best role yet to date. Now, confessionably, I've never seen Boys in the Hood, but I hear he's really good in that. Which I might plan on watching soon. Jerry goes to Avery as she brings up the word loser out of context. While Jerry never brought it up and Jerry visits the Cushman residence to resign Kush as his client and Jerry is having an amazing day and the cinematography is well done as director Cameron Crowe is very good at making shots like one two three on to the next scene Jerry gets to New York with Rod Cush and Rod feels left out as they walk to the lobby and have a press conference while Cush signed on the sh with Sugar during the press conference with him with Jerry and Rod behind Jerry's back, and Jerry is devastated by the decision as he learns it by phone, and Sugar, with Sugar, I mean, while Jerry dumps Avery in the middle of her job and beats his ass, and she beats his ass, 
And that's when she decides to call him a loser, like she said earlier in the film, as Avery comes off like a bitch in that scene, which is humiliating, which is a humiliating scene for Tom Cruise. But good riddance to get rid of Avery at this point. Not that I don't like Kelly Preston. I do like her. May she rest in peace. At this point in the film. Well, not in... But I like her as an actress. Not in the film. Jerry and Rod watch a show in the airport where people cry in it that Rod doesn't believe find believable until the end of the movie, which will make perfect sense when we get there. Jerry goes to Laurel's place to have dinner with Dorothy while Ray is asleep and tells her he broke it off with Avery, and I really liked the writing in this movie, as it was very relatable. Jerry tries to tell Ray about his life while he wants to go to the zoo, and he says fuck in front of the kid, and he says he won't just, he won't tell, just like he visited Jerry, and Jerry says he won't tell, which is a very cute bond, and Jerry is drunk and talks loudly and sees the fish are still there, as it looked like they were dead for a second there. And Dorothy confesses she cares about him, thanks to the thing he wrote in the beginning of the movie. And Jerry kisses Dorothy and goes to his taxi cab while, like he was embarrassed. And this was a nice shot scene, as the acting was very good. Jerry talks with Rod's coach, Dennis, by phone, about how aggressive Rod can be. And he has a chat with Rod about love and respect and tells Rod to bury his attitude problem and to encourage his behavior to improve as he whines and bitches in the locker room. And the acting in this scene between Tom Cruise and Cuba Gooding Jr. is quite powerful, in my opinion, anyways. Jerry asks Dorothy if she wants to have dinner with him, and she knows the perfect spot, and before he gives Ray a couple of gifts for Ray and Laurel, and a hug as well, and I'm thinking, aw, this guy is good with kids after meeting with him before. As they're at the restaurant, and Dorothy makes a call while Jerry hears music from the restaurant, which was cut, at, which was cute, as he brings home her, he brings her home and kisses, which, and they kiss, which is absolutely memorable. Their nanny Chad introduces Jerry to a record on a cassette, and does anyone know about these anymore? While Jerry goes in the house, and they have sexual intercourse and hear the music Chad gave him to begin with, which sounds weird in my opinion. Laurel tells, asks Dory, I mean, Dorothy, uh, to tell her every, uh, everything about the sex, and Jerry overhears how she loves him, and Ray is w awake and says hi to Jerry, and they walk in the kitchen and have some cereal together and see a contract for $1.7 million. And Marcy yells at Jerry about it while Dorothy comes off at her and apologizes for her, uh, how she's not good at insults and Marcy says it was pretty good and I really enjoyed the view of the beach in the background and this scene was is also well shot. Dorothy says to Jerry she's going to take a job in San Diego while Jerry asks Rod as a friend about single mothers and how to date him and Rod says to Jerry he needs to care for her and he helps her taking boxes out and they almost go to San Diego, she and Ray, I mean, while Jerry will come and visit them on the weekends. But Jerry decides he wants to marry Dorothy, and he she accepts and doesn't take the job in San Diego and tells Laura all about the proposal. And we move on the, to the wedding scene as they get married, and Rong sings a song for the wedding. And the wedding was delightful based on Cuba Gooding Jr.'s singing. Meanwhile, Laurel says to Jerry, if he fucks this up, she'll kill him while they watch the wedding video as they see Jerry didn't seem to want to go through with it, which felt terribly awkward in my opinion. Jerry sees Dennis and Avery as she does the L for loser with her fingers while Rod is playing the game of football, and Rod gets bonked and doesn't give any interviews, and Jerry and Rod have a talk as friends about his marriage, and Dorothy and... With Dorothy, I mean, and he brings up he married her because of loyalty, and it'll eventually turn into an argument about how he plays the game of football, and he has a logo during the game saying, In Rod We Trust, as they catch up with Dorothy and Marcy and the kids in the restaurant together, as she's about to have a baby girl named Katie. And these scenes are engaging me, as I'm no expert on football, other than the Super Bowl, I'll say, 
Jerry and Dorothy have a talk until Ray comes in to watch some, the, some of the TV. And as the months come by and Dorothy asks Jerry to get a divorce, as they made a mistake and Jerry doesn't like to give up, and she asks for a long break before the Monday Night Football comes, where Rod is playing at as Jerry arrives at the football field, and Sugar talks with Rod, and Jerry talks tells Sugar to get away from his guy, and the game begins with Rod's team, the Arizona Cardinals, against the Dallas Cowboys. And it gets rough to the point he gets flipped and is briefly unconscious after he hits first down, and Jerry tells Marcy to tell her to stay calm while he calls her, and eventually he gets back up, which is quite a miracle after a fan saying, we love you, Rod. And he starts to being the favorite and dances for the crowd and they win the game and Rod gets all the public attention while looking for Jerry and they hug it out and Marcy calls Jerry's cellular phone and he runs to Dorothy and has a chat and, and another iconic line from this movie, you complete me. As Tom Cruise says it to Renee Zellweger in front of Bonnie Hunt in her divorced women meeting, and Ron goes to the show where he doesn't find the crying too believable, and he learns he's going to play in Arizona in the NFL, and thanks everyone in his life, including Jerry. And at the end, Jerry and Dorothy take Ray to the zoo, and he throws a baseball to some kids who are currently playing the game. And he throws it quite tremendously, and they walk and talk, and the climax was absolutely beautiful. And it's a shame Tom Cruise doesn't make movies like this anymore. Now it's time for my rating. I'll give this movie a 8.5 out of 10. I like the characters except for Sugar and Avery, and the writing in this movie is relatable, as are the characters. And director Cameron Crowe is good at editing like 1, 2, 3, on to the next shot. And he's a very good director, in my opinion. The shots are nice to look at, while as was the acting was very good to hear between Tom Cruise, Renee Zellweger, and Cuba Gooding Jr. as they were absolutely powerful. And this movie is well made and very, and very well acted, as this movie is well done. I really do like this movie, as there was a nitpick I would like to bring up as the kid cussing at the adult in the beginning of the movie. And luckily it doesn't happen for the rest of the movie, as it was memorable and at the end of the day this is a solid recommendation and this is and it is a kind of a shame tom cruise doesn't do movies like this anymore so i'd like to thank you guys for joining me and next time we'll be back with anatomy of a murder and until then you complete me